what's going on guys it's wee finn here today i am hoping that i am able to get t1 um i did a one dollar top up yesterday and i did a one dollar top up today reason I'm being is shinji surprise gift box unlocks the first one for the one dollar top up and on the last tab you get two fury stones plus a bunch of stones for uh, 400 gold, which in my eyes is very worth, um, so it is. So I'm gonna buy all three. And the reason why I'm doing that also is because Visor Revenge is on, so I'll get some, you know, extra items back alongside, you know, some coupons for the gold spent. Um, if I hit the 5K mark, um, I'll be able to get another Fury Stone. So, you know, I can start building up to the full pure T1. Um, the way that I will be doing uh, T1 is, oh, hold on. So I need another level six. So that's what, four level fours to make six le level eights. And then we'll be hella close. Now, the way I'll be doing that is I can, you know, over the next couple of days I can 100% secure it from here uh, by getting the fury stones here by spending the 2k for visor revenge and then I think there's another chest somewhere that also drops fury uh, but I need to double check where exactly it is um, these events or this event is it's okay to buy them but they did change the rewards it used to be you really get, um, uh, what do you call that stuff? Characters, um, Zompactos. And then they, you know, did away with it. So, unfortunately, you're no longer able to get. We also have two points, which I may buy these red stones if I need to try for the red psychic. And we will do the five chances here. It's nice to see a change in the reward system for there. Right, so, who I'll be sticking on will actually be the main character. Now, the reason for that is um, I'm actually gonna give him Hell vs. Ichigo's gear, and then we're gonna stick the T1 on the main, and then we will be hopefully clearing some bonds um, by doing so. So, I actually need to take off Hogu's, which is going to actually destroy me because that's a lot of physical power that I'm missing out for me. So, let me change that. Oh, Hogu Kai tab as well. What the hell is that? So, we need to get rid of the one downside about trying to get things swapped when you're not max. Alright, so. Finally, we can change it. Now, what we want to do is we want to go in here and I'm actually going to take off the block just because it's the main character and then I'll put the block and stuff back on. So, oh, just so I can remember what I've took off and what exactly I need to put back on. So, there we go. Now, what I'm going to do is go into not a world map. What am I looking? Yes, we'll go home, do a cons console fight, and see what exactly that fury amount leaves us, and then we'll do the stone and or the weapon enchant. So 97. So I'm hoping that the green one is enough. Um, I can't. I can't exactly remember what the green uh, psychic gives, but we'll see in a second. So hopefully this is enough. Uh, nope. 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 Oh, this is gonna be annoying. The green psychic is actually harder to get than the red psychic, so that's the fun part 
So it doesn't look like it's gonna be very lucky. Okay. <laughs> doesn't look like it's gonna give us it. So what that means, yeah, so what that means is, <laughs> there you go, one red chance and we get psychic. So that is well and truly enough now on the mains for T1. So what I will do is change it to destroy the world. And then the fun begins for bonds. Now, currently my bond training is sitting at the 17 stars. You can see which ones I've cleared and what I haven't cleared. Um, this is with the current team I had and without T1. Now, a lot of these is such things like make sure the damage dealt by main character is no less than 95%. So the only way to do something like that is if the main character has T1. Um, and then there's things like make sure all own supporters were killed during the battle. So I need to make my supporter faster than my main character, but weak enough to die from a block or anything along that line. Uh, what's the next one? Make sure the main character's HP is no less than 50%. Team's total, make sure, that, sure the damage dealt is no less than 50% of the total damage. So we could do, say, can we do this? Well, well, we'll see if that actually works because main character only needs to do 50% damage. So we'll see. Okay, so my zone pack toe currently is way too strong. So we'll try it now with, okay, the, the took Tanjiro off. So we'll, we'll try it now with out Tanjiro and just Muramasa. If not, then I will have to change my zone pack toe to maybe Kazushini or somebody along that line. So that should have been enough. Yep, so as you can see, Barstone. Uh, so let's see, when it makes it HP is no less than 95, when it makes sure the damage dealt by the main character is no less than 95. So this is when we start changing zone pack toes, because if you have an outrageously strong zone pack toe, it's going to make your life a lot harder. So I'm going to try it with Minazuki. Um, it's probably going to be still too strong, but we'll see. By doing this, I'm hoping to actually be able to... Um, get the chance to unlock bonds for my hellverse. Now, if this is too strong, I can just completely take off. Yeah, so it's 77%, so I'm gonna completely take off my zone pack toe. So this is pretty much what you would have to do yourself if you were to go through bonds. Um, my suggestion also is just be careful while you're doing um, the Soul King Refinery because if you make yourself too strong in Soul King Refinery then you won't be able to do things like make sure your supporters are killed or make sure such and such does this amount of damage stuff like that there so once again we will stick in stick in Rukia oh I need to take her out two seconds right. We'll stick in Rukia for this battle. Because uh, it says here, when it makes sure only two characters survive the battle. Now, hopefully <coughs> my main character does enough damage. There we go. So that is now clear on stage training four. On the next one, five. When it makes sure five partners survived, when it makes sure the damage dealt by the main character is 95%. So what I have to do now is pretty much have a team of low level characters that the main character is obviously going to be faster than and no chance of them being destroyed straight away so we'll just put in these random characters and then hopefully the main character can one shot and then it should unlock the three star bond and then that was when so there you go Enough damage, boom. So that's bond training stage five complete. I'm gonna make sure at least four male partners survived. Make sure the damage dealt by main character is no less than 95% damage. 
So this is where it starts to get a wee bit spicy because now I have to try and find five characters that are male. So there is four. Do we have a supporter male? Oh, we do. Now I have to hope that my main character is strong enough to one shot all these without much hassle. There we go. So that should have cleared stage six, which it did. On stage seven, All right? So we move it all. We're gonna make sure only three characters survived the battle. We're gonna make sure two female partners survived. So pretty much put in my two supporters, and then that's your two females and your three characters survived. I think if I've oh right, okay. So. This makes things actually a wee bit more annoying. So now, the way it's worded, when and make sure only three characters survive, kind of, hold on, does it include male, this one? Right, hold on. We'll try with three supporters. Because the wording for bonds is do do so we'll see if that works no so it's what i'm thinking so what i'm thinking is the main character has to be able to one shot all these but the supporter has to be able to outspeed the main character <laughs> which is going to be the struggle of the century so i need to make uh 83k speed come from a, a low level supporter or even I could do it with yeah supporter since I have the, the higher growth rates um, let me see or he may maybe but how am I going to get right, you know what hold on alright so sad Jean. Er, I think Harry Bell has a set on her. No. Does Kisuke have a set? No. Oh, I'm not even the right level. See, this makes... This is the hard part, trying to figure out how to lower my speed and how to increase my speed. So what I'm going to have to do now is take off all my speed. And then... That leaves me with 71k and then hope that I could possibly make <coughs> let's see we'll take Karinji's speed off and we'll stick it on Harry Bell and we'll try with Harry Bell and see if she can get one shot and then if not then we're gonna be kind of stuck for a while so there you go 36k still not enough Oh, that takes 20k off, right? Hold on, what does that take? We could take the speed off. Okay, so hold on. So we'll t that's 16k, so we'll keep the speed on. 20k. Slightly faster. Harry Bell, so... What we want to do is... Upgrade this couple levels should make Harry Bell faster than. Oh, it makes Harry Bell faster by five. Now, let's hope this works. If it doesn't, I'm gonna cry. So, what I want is now Harry Bell in and then Harry Bell to attack, get blocked, and die from the whole, the whole thing. Right, let's see. So that didn't work one bit. And because I've took off the main character's thing, unfortunately, now he can't T1. God damn it. Right, so. Uh, let's see, what can we do to fix this? Probably nothing, right? So we'll skip that for now. 
because unfortunately now that makes life a lot harder. So we'll, we'll skip that one until I actually have a proper, you know, team set up for it to actually fight for it. So let me change back all my stones before I completely forget to and then cut myself. So let's do that. And then main character gets the six level sevens. And then, where do we go? On to the next one. I'm gonna make sure main character's HP is no less than 95%. percent want to make sure the damage dealt is no less than 95% of the total damage when I make sure only one supporter survives the battle. Ah, shit. I don't think I can do this one either. We'll see, we'll see. We'll put one supporter in and see what happens. Oh, flip. So the main character isn't even strong enough for this. Okay. Okay, right. So, I was able to clear, you know, a decent amount for now. Uh, let me get the 22 bond thing. How much do I need? 24, right. What's the last one? Uh, I want to make sure all of the own supporters were killed during the battle, win within two rounds. Uh, right, how do we even do that? Right, so we we'll put two weak supporters in. Maybe a slightly stronger one, see what happens. Oh, did not mean that. Right, so let's see. So it's completely... See, if the main character was a little bit stronger to be able to completely wipe out that whole team, then it would work perfect the way I have it set up. So as you can see, even like you need to be a decent amount strong to even fight against some of this. So let us put in my correct team and then see what I have to do. Oh, what I have to do for Hell vs Ichigo's Bonds, so physical attack, keto attack, I need bond stage five and three stars. Do we have bond stage five and three stars? We do. We need, okay, so I need to do this and then this. When the uh, damage dealt is no less than 50% total of the damage. Is that Hellverse does that damage or is that the main character does that damage? These are the questions that need to be answered. So let's experiment with that. Either way, Hellverse unfortunately one shot. So it actually works. So it's Hellverse. So now we have the physical bond for Hellverse. Uh, bond stage six, we have bond stage six, so that's good. So let's go into bond stage six and same again, 50%. So bond stage six and then let's hope for hell versus the one shot without his gear. He does, yoink, skip, loot and did that not work? I am confused. I need the main character. Oh, it's no more than 50%. Right, okay. So that actually might be a bit of a problem. What is this, stage seven, stage nine? And we don't have any of these, right. So, okay, how do we reduce We'll try taking off all of Hell versus the gear. See if that does anything for us. Probably not working our favor, but we'll see. 
Uh, right. Uh, let's hope. Because I'll probably have to completely strip Hellverse. Oh, I think that works. It did, okay. So that perfectly worked for us. So now we just put on Hellverse's stuff. Oh, um, accessories for all this doo doo stuff. And then what we want to do is exchange the main character with Hellverse. And then we want to. Put on Zapato. We want to add on the, the supporters, the Vanguard, and his Hogu. Now, I feel like I'm missing something, but let me see. Bonds. So currently, Hellverse uh, now has his two main important ones. And then we'll move on to these ones once I get a bit stronger. So what I will do is put in Rukia and Renji. And that activates his bonds. And then we want to upgrade his physical attack one first, I believe. Oh, do I have to do this? There we go. So, physical attack. And then... We'll keep upgrading. So we're able to get it to 15 upon release. And. Ooh, almost 20k boost. Which is hella nice. So he's up to 621k attack. Nice. Now I can take his fury off. Put on his block. And then go into Tinjuro. And give him the. Fury if I want, or I can uh, not worry about Fury now until I get my su supporters a bit more of a, or no, my main character more strength to be able to fight against um, some of the, the later stages. But pretty much, a, you know, a decent, a decent boost on Hell versus side. Then I was able to change his first mod to 12% damage rate. And then I'm going to change his fourth mod to damage rate as well and get him even stronger. But that's I would say that's hell of a nice boost. And we also cleared Eisen as well last night with a bit of luck. I think I had like 600 HP or something. But I'd say that's a good, you know, a good boost for today. Um... And definitely, hopefully it helps a few of you guys trying to understand. If it says on Bond, um, where is it? Um, make sure at least, or make sure only three characters survive the battle. Then they want one of your characters to die by getting hit from a block or something like that. Or... Uh, where is it? Make sure only one supporter survives. It means have two supporters get one killed. And, you know, pretty much that's what it means. But hopefully, hopefully, yeah, you no, know, it helps with a few of the other bonds. And hopefully, you've enjoyed. But until next time, peace.